So when you're working with WordPress child themes, you might run into a case where you need to include uh, third-party scripts or CSS. And in this video, we're going to do that. I downloaded a copy of Bootstrap and I placed it into my child theme. And what I want to do is I want to include the CSS and the JS into my child theme. And I'm working with a 2017 child that I have set up. And I've got a custom uh, modification to my theme with an advertisement area. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to your functions.php file. And you need to actually add the bootstrap styles and scripts uh, to this function here. So we're going to start with these styles. In queue style. And the first thing we need to do is give our style sheet its handle, which is bootstrap in this case. And then the next thing we need to do is use this function here, get style sheet directory URI. Now it's important to use this one. Let me go ahead and break this to the next line. Because this will return the path to your child theme. If you look up here on line six, you'll see get template directory URI. And what that does is it gets you the path to the parent theme. So now what we need to do is uh, we're going to concatenate this function with uh, some additional path information. And what we want to use is our path to bootstrap, CSS, bootstrap dot min dot CSS. And then we'll close that out with the semicolon. And I'm, then I'm going to copy this whole block here. And I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm going to use script because I'd like to include the Bootstrap JavaScript as well. I'm going to change this to JS and change this to JS as well. And then I'll save that. And let's just, uh oh, that is tiny. What happened? maybe it included something in bootstrap just kind of mess our styles up it's just an example so we're not too worried about the design right now uh, it looks like i have no errors in the console so that must mean that um, our scripts were included as you can see here on this line our bootstrap css has been added to the theme and that's pretty much how you uh, include any kind of files in your child theme. And remember, it's important to use this function so that you get the right path and you don't return any 404 errors. Let's say I was using this function at the top, just so I can show you what kind of trouble this could cause. I'll paste that there, save it, and then let's refresh. And you can see now we have an error. Uh, it's a 404, and that's because our 2017 parent child uh, parent theme does not have any bootstrap assets. So again, that's why it's important uh, to use get style sheet directory URI.